okay so now uh, so the so this is our auto re regressive model or dynamic model we shall estimate from 1980 until 1990 so we shall i i press okay so this is the uh, this is the model the dependent variable y and uh, you can see r square so 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 better uh, i give a name of this model this model must have a name suppose uh, here i click name suppose the name is eq1 right equation 1 right the name of this model right so it is eq1 so uh, you see eq1 has come right and also this one this model also come here you see you see the eq1 has come right so if you oh, open it our model will come so the eq1 has been saved in the work file right it is saved and on the basis of this model we shall be doing the forecasting right it is the eq1 and it is saved it is saved in the work file and on the basis of this model we shall be doing the forecasting okay then the question is that whether this model uh, is ready or not ready for forecasting so normally a model having no serial cor correlation having no heteroscedasticity residuals are normally distributed then the model is normally is ready for forecasting but if the model has some problem then the model is not ready for forecasting okay first i check one by one out of three variables x is significant right because the p value is less than 5% so x is significant but other two is not significant right so we are not happy about it uh, out of three independent variable at least two should be significant that means the majority variables should be significant that is the guideline right to be a good regression model however we accept this model because at least 30 percent that means out of three at least one is significant right okay suppose we accept it right and secondly r squared is quite high so we are happy about the model 75.42 percent so we are happy about the model and f statistics is significant right you see significant so we are happy about it okay then we check the what about the serial correlation and so on I go to view and residual diagnostic first I check serial correlation whether this time series model has serial correlation or not I click on it so I, I, I choose two lakhs right I choose two lakhs okay so it is the serial correlation test right observed r square and corresponding p value how much is the 
value 11.87 percent which is less than 5 percent so we cannot reject null hypothesis and what is our null null our null is there is no serial correlation and we cannot we, ca we uh, and we cannot and 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 as the p value is more than 5% so there is no serial correlation in this model so we are happy about this model because there is no serial correlation then we check some more heter heteroscedasticity we can also check because uh, although th this model is uh, time series model but heteroscedasticity problem still may exist right although the, this model is a time series model but heteroscedasticity still may exist but what happens normally uh, if the model is a time series model normally heteroscedasticity does not exist but still uh, still uh, we can check it still we should check it whether there is a heteroscedasticity or not I check it so I choose the Bruce Pagan Godfrey you can see observed R square this is the test of heteroscedasticity observed R square p value is 28.13 percent meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis and what is our null hypothesis there is no heteroscedasticity so meaning that we cannot reject this hypothesis so meaning that there is no heteroscedasticity in this model then we are we, we are very happy about it finally we check the I click here finally we check whether the residual is normally distributed or not that we want to check I go to a histogram right I come here and the Jarkabera statistics and corresponding p-value the p-value is very high meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis meaning that uh, the residuals are normally distributed so we are happy about the, uh, this model so this model has no problem actually no problem this model is very nice so and this model has no statistical problem all are fine there is no serial correlation there is no heteros city residuals are normally distributed F statistics is significant R squared is very high so we are very happy about the model so we can go for now forecasting because this model has no statistical problem 